Hi guys, welcome back. Today we'll be making a Celtic Knot bracelet. I've got a couple of green colors of paracord with me. Um, I've seen this styled in, in some other colors, themed a little bit different, but I really thought it looked like a Celtic weave. And so we're gonna be making that today. For this bracelet, you're not gonna need any hardware. I've just got my three colors of paracord and we're gonna be using a diamond knot for a buckle. The colors I've got are emerald green, neon green, and kelly green. So let's get started. You'll need about five feet of each color of paracord. I'm gonna have this darker green, the emerald green be on the outside, and my single strand, and then I'm doubling up the, the kelly with the neon. So start by making a, a loop in the middle of each of your colors. This loop is gonna be a little bit longer because we're having the closure, or the, we'll have the diamond knot fit through there. Just pass them in between. All right, so we'll have our, our loop of dark green up on top, and then our doubled up green just below it here. And we're going to cross the right single cord over the left single cord. And then right after that, we'll be passing the double cords across each other. So this goes underneath the right single cord. And then this one goes over top the left single cord. And then across each other with the right side on top. Each time it's gonna be the same where the left goes over the top. The right side is gonna go underneath your double weave, over that middle single cord, and underneath the left double cord. And so each time your diagonal is just going to come up for that one little spot. And then this left to right diagonal is going to be above except for that, that one little spot. And then each time you cross your, your double cords, your right will go over the left. So we'll get that repeating pattern of, of right to left. Then as you go, you're gonna kind of wanna work it so it stays flat. You can kind of pull that one little button of paracord up so that it shows a little bit better. It can kind of get hidden underneath if you tighten it too much. The key is to keep it all even looking as you as you go, because it'll be kind of hard to rearrange later. So just kind of look at your weave, make sure it looks even before moving on. And just continue this same pattern to the end. All right, so I've gotten the bracelet as long as I need it here to fit around my wrist. Um, I think it's probably close to eight inches. And to finish it off, we're just gonna do one instance of the cobra weaver or square knot to, to hold all of our cords together. If you want to adjust things and get it a little bit more even, I've got a couple little crooked spots in mine and my, my loop is maybe a little bit too big at this point because I want it to be just small enough to, to wedge a diamond knot underneath. You can go back and adjust the cord. It takes a little bit of time but it, it is doable. I'm just going to go with what I've got right here. I'm going to take my doubled cords and that's just going to become my middle of the cobra. That's what we're binding it around. And then I'm going to lay the cord across. If you've done a cobra bracelet, it's the exact same weave. This one goes over the top of that cord, around the back, and up through the loop. And then tighten that down. It'll be easier to tighten once you get this second part. Take that same cord that you did last time, this time it's on the right, cross it over this one over the top of that cord, around the back, and through the loop. And now you can really pull it tight. And that holds your whole weave in place. These cords we're done with now. We'll cut those off in a minute. And actually I'll just do that right now to get them out of the way. All right, now that we got those out of the way, we'll be making a diamond knot with the remaining four and really just with two of the cords. You've got probably the cords are, are kitty corner from each other. Lay the, 
So two neon green, or what, it doesn't really matter which color. I want the, the knot to be a little bit darker color, so I'm gonna make it with these darker ones. And then I like to make the diamond knot around my palm. So I'm just going to go like this with one cord sticking up between each of those fingers. This cord, top cord laying down, make a loop over it with the right side cord here and then flip it so we've got that in our palm. And then this bottom cord goes underneath the other one over the first, under the second, and over the third, like that. And this is called a karak bend, but we're going to be turning this into our diamond knot. Take this cord and go around this cord between your pointer and, and middle, and then right up through the middle of the knot. And then the same with this one. Um, this one's still pointing up, just go underneath that one, around this other base cord, and up through the middle. And then before you pull that tight, we're just going to stick both of those neon green cords up through the middle and tie the knot around that. So to tighten this down, it can easily um, get all tangled up. You just kind of want to gradually tighten those, those strings as you kind of push this into place. And it's, we're going to want it to come back here, but I'm just tightening it down first. Because it's easier to work with that way. Alright, so now we want to feed each of those individual cords down to tighten it to the right spot. You just kind of have to thread them through. You do want to leave a little bit of a stem here for this loop to grab onto. Alright, so there I've got the knot tightened down to where I want it to be. It looks a little wider than a normal diamond knot because we've got those cords running through the middle. Um, if, if it was hard to follow in this video, um, we've got other videos where we cover the diamond knot or you can look up other tutorials on YouTube too. It's called the diamond knot or the lanyard knot if you want just uh, directions for that specifically. Um, but now that we're done, I'm going to just cut all of those cords fairly close to that knot. And then we're just going to melt all of them down at the same time. And then just kind of roll that into the knot. And that makes the end wider so that it's not going to pull through. Um, but there's our bracelet. So to clasp it on, you just put it through the end of the loop. If you did get to the end and your loop is a little bit too big, um, you can just flip the loop once and that tightens it up a little bit or you can go back and, and tighten down your, your cord. Just pull the, the extra out the end and recut it. Um, but that's the, the Celtic Weave bracelet. Links to all the colors that we used in this bracelet can be found in the description to this video. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe if you want to be updated whenever we make videos in the future. Otherwise, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.